Welcome, my beautiful souls. Uh, today, we are just going to do a quick reading on what we need to know for the week coming up. Today is Sunday. Um, but of course, whenever this reaches you is probably, in my eyes, divine timing. So just a short little message. Okay, that wants to stay. I'll take it. Well, hello, Six of Cups. You know, first of all, I feel like you know, Six of Cups can certainly represent someone we know, someone that um, brings joy to our heart. But this could also talk about you yourself, like being in a playful state. Um, you know, when things go, like when things are rough, try to think of the good things, um, happy memories. So number six. Um, I don't know why I said it hits a number six, what that has to do with it. But number six is interesting because it's a little boy giving a little girl flowers. Some of you, this could definitely represent someone that you know. Maybe someone that you're going to hear from. Okay. We have judgment. So judgment is calling you to the present moment. That means that there's about to be some type of rebirth in your life. We have the Page of Swords. Maybe that's why I felt for some of you, you may get like an unexpected phone call. We have the Five of Pentacles under that Six. Then we have the Six of Swords. So Six of Swords definitely, especially coming next to the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles can certainly feel like a tower moment. It's something that happens outside of our control. This can talk about certainly an old relationship that didn't work out at that period. But Six of Swords de definitely talks about something that might have been toxic. Um, but this is really the energy of moving on. You got to look back one card, take it to the five. And the five is where the toxicity lies. So maybe I'm in some way letting that go. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So some of you are going to be, look at this, five, six, seven. Some of you are going to be in a little bit of a decision mode. Again, you may, your phone may ring. Um, your guides are calling you to the present moment. Letting go, I feel like, let go of what was. Even if this is like contact from someone from back in the day. Still, it's the energy of living in the present moment. I feel like that's what judgment is asking us to do. Let go of the toxicity. And sometimes that can be even our own thoughts. And get ready for some type of a rebirth where really it's putting the ball in your court. You make that final decision. Do I accept this conversation? Do I accept this call? Um, but again, with judgment here, it feels like it is a rebirth. So. I like that. Let's just take one right in the middle. Mm, seven of Swords. So that makes sense because you have the Six of Swords right below that. So if you've been dealing with anyone who is just like lower vibrational energy, in the Seven of Swords, this person takes more than their fair share. So I feel like Judgment's saying, I've got to be able to put that in the past and move forward. Um... No way do I feel like this would be someone contacting you that, especially with judgment out, that wouldn't be in your favor, you know. But then again, the ball's in your court. This may just say that some of my decision making is due to past energy. And that is why I need to be, you know, I need to let it go. I need to find a way to let it go. So, you know, these two sevens connected. Um, so that I can make a clear decision and not be afraid of moving forward in whatever it is. Again, judgment, a rebirth, but it means that your signs are being sent in the present moment. I don't want to leave it with seven of swords. We have the queen of wands, our intuitive queen. So this is someone who moves according to her passions, her desires, there's no way she'd let the Seven of Swords, um, you know, like back in her life or, you know, even if it's just energy itself, there's no way she's going to accept that. I feel like this means 
This is the clearing of energy and getting back to like that happy part of yourself. And then when a sign comes in, I feel like then you can make a real decision that is not fear based. So I feel like that's our message for this week. Um, I don't know, some of you, again, it could be some type of communication coming in, but I don't feel that's a bad thing. I just feel like it's the cleansing of past energy so that I can enjoy my life. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I wanted it just to be short to give us like something to look forward to. Um, but I do feel like sometimes we have to look back to understand where we're at right now and where we're going. Queen of Wands would be the perfect energy for that. The intuitive, action, passionate, desirable. That's what I follow. That's what I follow. I love you guys. Thank you.